Uh, at which point are we going to complain about this hand? This hand does what she needs to do. But the price of this hand. Eh? I don't know when I'm going to upload this. But right now this hand. This is the Vanish Bleach. For your white clothes. This hand is currently 100 bucks on the dot. It's normally 149 139 It's about 140 So... Hopefully by the time I put up this video or this vlog, this special will still be on. Everything here is from Checkers. Um, the bill amounted to about 1.8. With it, And this is not everything. I think what basically made the bill quite high is, is these things, cleaning stuff. And I got a couple of things for my body and washing up and all of that. But the rest of the stuff is not even, it's, it's like general stuff, right? But it got up to about 1.8 because grocery is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The price of stuff is so expensive. But um, because with the checkers card, I saved. And I saved about 200 bucks. So, took it for 1.6. Don't say I never told you. So it's going to be my first time trying Tetley green tea. I just wanted to try something different from my normal Lipton green. So wish me luck. Because there's a hundred of these to get through. And this is my normal one. And it's out, baby. Finished it. It's gone. It's gone, baby. You know what my chat is? <gasps> oh my god, and I'm vlogging. Baby. You know what my chat is? Okay, let me tell you what my chat is. My chat is my sister is so judgmental of the men that I choose to love. <laughs> but those men love me in return. Let's talk about you. Okay. <laughs> my name is Naledi M Official. I am in love with a man that hey, hey, I love. love. Watch your, Watch, your Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I have to get that. I love that. you so Watch much, guys. Guys, okay, mommy line game. Mommy line. I love you so much. Mommy line game. Mommy line game. No, yes, inking a yin. Like, I knew that walking into this, but mommy line game. Because he's a, you know, he's a street rat. But like, no, he's not. He's such a lie. Don't get in my business with your subscribers. Okay. He's giving a bit of a street rat, but then he's also giving a bit of you're a rose in a concrete world. But then he's also giving like, oh, you belong to the tar, you know, the tires. What's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I love him so much. He's not doing much, guys. He's just affirming me, and it's just it's changing my life. As a matter of fact, to all my motherfucking exes, okay? <laughs> For all the times you didn't affirm me, that was super whack because it didn't cost you a damn thing. Love literally don't cost a damn thing. And he loves me, guys. I, I love him so much. Okay, so yes, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say Everybody told me not to buy him a top, but I'm going to listen to myself. Yes. Because I love him. He's not gonna love me back, is he? Okay, so, okay, comment down below. Should I give this love a chance? You know, should I, you know, see where it's gonna go? You know, should I, um, kind of king pinel? One look in your eyes, then I 
Nasty. Oh, but the one love remains to me. Here in my arms, I believe. But your love is all I'll ever need. Swing, swing, swing. Here and now, I promise to love faithfully. Then, buddy, faithfully, you're a man. Here and now, I vow to be one with thee, buddy. Guys, that's the song I want to sing to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey. I but I could tell from the moment that we we just collided that this is going to happen. Oh my god. And I'm not for that thing. Story. Yeah, I just want you guys to be careful okay. of the decisions that I'm making which will lead to the story times that I'm going to make. My people thing are going to be story times. There's many people that are going to be story times. Eh? My chat is... All you niggas out here loving me. <laughs> <laughs> Why you loving me? Why you loving me? Because you know I'm going to love you back. And then you're going to hurt me. And then you're going to be my ass sins. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, guys, but I love him so much. Okay, Shaka. Hey, friends. Hi. <laughs> I just got back from work. It's going on five now. And I got a couple of things and I thought I should do a little like cute little haul. These are things that I've gotten over the last couple of days. And normally I normally place them on this table until I'm ready to actually put everything away. So I thought ah, before I put everything away, let me show you what I got. Still recovering from the flu. It's been raining literally for the last three days. This is the first day in the last three days that we've gotten some sun. Well, yesterday we got some sun. So, yeah. Yeah. But it was raining for pretty much three days consecutively. Just rain, rain, rain every day. So it's been cold as well, which I'm really excited for. I am a winter baby. I love the colder months. This one is the Fury. Now, I was really excited about this. This is by Alex Michelides. Really I was looking forward to this one because I loved The Silent Patient. If you've been here for years on end and you've been following me since I started reading and doing bookish content on this channel, then you'll know that I read The Silent Patient and I absolutely loved it. I devoured it in two days and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So this is the new book by the same author, Alex Michelides. And it's a it's like a who done did it situation where seven people are stranded on an island and one person is a murderer. And so it's like a who done did it. Who who done did it? Um, so yeah, the cover is just exceptional, exceptional, so good. And then this one is a nonfiction. I have a very big love hate relationship with nonfiction novels because novels with non-fiction books because i just feel like sometimes the self-helpy ones are kind of like mm, very hit or miss miss a lot of the time um i feel like they tell you what you want to hear a lot of the time unless they're very business related but if they're about self-love self-help um love all of that kind of thing mm, healing all of this mm, i take them with a pinch of salt but this is called The Attachment Solution, and this is by Sharice Cook, and it just says how to develop strong and lasting relationships. Do you love your partner, but do you feel like you want more from them? Do you go on lots of dates, but do you never not seem to click with anyone? Are you always disappointed in people and relationships? And then it's a whole long spiel that I'm not going to read because 
Can you tell how tired I am? But this is what it looks like. So thank you very much to the people at Penguin House for sending me this. Really, really happy. Cotex. I absolutely love the individually wrapped daily protect slim panty liners. Um, don't ruin your underwear. Get panty liners, okay? Because we all know we got a little bit of discharge and everything happening and blah, 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 okay? Uh, what's not part of feminine hygiene, but I knew that I was running out of and I decided to pick it up anyway. This is the Comfort Pure um, Fabric Conditioner. So, stay soft, this one, yeah, one, fabric conditioner. So, I picked that up as well, Lilettes, because I'm a lady, and I go on my period. I'm a woman, rather, and I go on my period, so I had to pick up some tampons. And then, Clix does this wonderful three for two special, so you know I was going to capitalize on that, and these are my absolute favorites i from the sorbet range of body butters and nail creams and body gels shower gels whatever this fragrance is my absolute favorite this is the firming body butter age control and the scent of this is pomegranate green tea cranberry and vitamin e and i absolutely love it picked it up in the body butter which is giant and this really lasts me a long long time and let's just say maybe about a month three weeks to a month and then i got the gigantic foaming body wash as well love that the lighting because it's later on in the day so please bear with me and then i got the uh, hand and nail cream this is gonna fit in my bag quite nicely colgate sensitive pro relief i'm a big 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 fan so i picked that up as well and floss your teeth <laughs> floss your teeth so i ran out of floss literally last night thank the lord i remember it because i remembered it while i was at the shops because yo i'm very particular about floss i am a floss hun okay i will floss and i will floss every night before i go to bed in the morning i don't floss because my teeth are fine you know i've brushed my teeth and flossed the night before so i just brush in the morning but this one is one of my favorite ones this is the mint one by colgate total absolutely love it this vest is not showing very nice <laughs> the jersey that i'm wearing is actually the jersey that i'm wearing actually belongs to my dad stole it years ago years ago and he saw me he was actually wearing the green version of this today and he saw me wearing it and he's like and then i looked at him and he looked at me and I was like, we're wearing the same jersey. And he's like, yeah, is that mine? And I was like, what? No, no. What? You, what? No, no. <laughs> Eventually, I said yes. Eventually, I said yes. And uh, if you've been following me for years now, you know that since COVID, since the loss of so many people and how we were just absolutely grieving in the 2020, 2021, even the 2022 period from the loss of lives due to COVID, ever since then, I burn a candle every single night in my bedroom. Every single night when I go to bed, I have just the illumination of candlelight. Um, and it's just as, um, as a remembrance to all the people that have passed then, but also as uh, it's a powerful thing to just have a candle burning in the house as a remembrance to those who have passed, as a connection to your spirituality. There's a big power in burning candles. So I got a couple from Mr. Price Home, four to be exact. And then lastly is the makeup, I think. So these were bought on different days. We will start here. The, the lady at the till, good to scam. You know how they're always running some sort of special and when you get to the till, they're always telling you about how buy this, buy this. Um, so I had points on my discount card for a lot of money. Like I think for like 500 bucks or something. Um, so because I used the points and I ended up spending like a hundred and something, you know, um, I picked this up because she kept on ranting and raving about it and like, on the makeup front. So I picked up things that I'm really running low on and I always want to have 
a plus one kind of sitting there so I don't have to mid doing my brows then my brow pencil is done and then I'm like oh my god how am I gonna finish it off right you know that kind of thing so I bought my favorite um, lashes I only wear one set of lashes all the time not one box but and one number it's a it's a type of lashes these are the one two sixes these are the ones that i wear in my videos when i'm out and about and everybody's like oh your lashes are so nice one two sixes this is what i wear i have these i just keep stocking up on them when i have money i i will buy one or two or whatever and then i'll just have them there um one of the things that i love the most after i've done my brows is to set my brows with a brow gel and the one that i love the most is from Rimmel, but I didn't find it today. So I was looking for something new to try because I was like, I need, I, I just need to have it, right? So I saw this one, which is the Transparent Brow Gel Mascara um, from Catrice. It's called Clear and Fix. That's what it looks like. Okay, it's reflective, so you're not gonna see it properly. So I picked that up. I had also my ink liner, my jet liner uh, from Essence that I love so much for here and maybe when i on days that i feel like doing cat eyes which is not very often um i i like the one from essence and this is the 20 forever ink liner from essence and from maybelline uh my brow my maybelline express brow this is in deep brown this is the one that i normally use i've got reels and tiktoks where i use this one in real time and you can see what it looks like and then I picked up another liquid ink liner from Essence as well. Does the same thing. Uh, one is a, it's more like a pencil. Yeah, this one's more like a pencil. This one is more like a dip in. Yeah, it's sealed. So, but yeah, this is as well, what does it say? This just says liquid ink from Essence as well. They work pretty well. So I've been using Essence ones for years because they're very... Um, what is this they're very cost effective and they do the job so this is something that's new to me along with the brow gel this is also from catrice this is the marbleicious liquid lip balm if there's one thing you're going to see about me here in this makeup section i'm a gloss lover i love nude lips and i love glosses and you can't tell me twice about glosses. The two that I'm going to show you here from Maybelline. And you know, you know, I'm a Maybelline hun. So, but um, this one is one that I found quite fascinating because it's like white. It's got a bit of white and it's got a bit of um, this golden uh, nude color. And you kind of just, and then you apply it on your lips. It looked really nice when I swatched it in the store. So I was like, okay, let's pick that up, give it a try. Um, a baby that was always recommended by uh, Pamela. And I love it so much. Love it, love it, love it so much. I've got literally stocks of these and I always pick it up because it's like 60 bucks. Um, this is the Juice Bomb by Essence. Pick these up. And then these two the lifter glosses from maybelline are nothing short of amazing these are the ones that i like as you can see they are both nude one has a bit of a pink uh hinge uh to it and then one is just more like on the brown side and they're absolutely lovely they're long lasting long wearing in any of my videos where you see me in the sit down videos wearing a nude lip Chances are I've got this on top. I might maybe put, if it's darker, I might put a darker lip liner on top and then top it up with this. Or if it's a lighter one, it's just the gloss. Or if it's yada, 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 you get what I'm saying. Um, so these two I absolutely, absolutely love. And that's pretty much it. That's literally pretty much it. I think I've got so much footage for this vlog. So I'm going to start editing I'm going to take a minute to <clears throat> rest my voice a little bit because the sun is going through a lot, okay? Um, and then just take a minute to just oosa a little bit and I'll get back to you guys a little bit later. If um, 
I'm ending it now. You will see because the video will come to an end. If I'm not, you will see because the video won't come to an end. But yeah, hi. So I don't have time to actually get my tripod in. But I wanted to show you some uh, two, two new skincare products that I've been using for a little bit now. And let me tell you. Okay. Now, a while ago, I started using Miss Amanda Dupont's Le Live um, range of products. And this is what I started with before. I started with the brightening. Huh? I love them. I, first and foremost, the packaging. Are you joking? Anyway, um, I started using the brightening and clarify serum, which has vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and turmeric. And I've loved it. I'm out of this, I'll pick it up today, but so good, so, so good. And then recently, about a week ago, I started using this. This is the drip, okay? This is the Hydrate and Energize Mist, and let me tell you, this thing is amazing. Not only does it smell like, but the spray dispenser is every girl's dream, especially when it comes to setting sprays and whatever, it's just, Mmm, mmm. It smells so good. And normally I put this on before moisturizer, and then sometimes I'll follow a little bit with it afterwards. And my skin is so happy. My skin is glowing. My skin is doing the absolute most. Okay. Then I'll normally follow with my serums after I do that. This one is almost out as well. How rude. <laughs> um, need to pick up some serums today. But with the serums that I use, I use hyaluronic acid, um, vitamin C serums, and niacinamide. I'll always, always have those in rotation. They might be from different brands because I try them out, my skin gets used to it, and then I'll try a different brand. Uh, La Roche-Posay is also one of my favorites, but I'm taking a break from that for a little bit. And then the moisturizer that I normally sit with is this one. This is the skin functional one and this is the impaired barrier and dry skin moisturizer with liposome ceramide NP and this is really really good for brightening the skin but also giving its firmness as well. Really really good. Also for hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. Works really really well and I love it. And this is pretty much how I do my skincare every single morning and every single night I'm currently not even using any eye cream but the color under my eye is great it's lightening up it's looking really really good absolutely love it and then uh, we top it up with sunscreen and then yeah we essentially top it up with some sunscreen and SPF and we're good to go that's, that's the tissue paper my skin my darling is skinny. Do you understand? Are you seeing that?